Hello class, this is a video tutorial on using features of the derivative to sketch a function. Since we know the relationship between a function, its derivative and gradients as follows, f prime of a is greater than zero is increasing, f prime of a is equal to zero is a stationary point, and f prime of a is less than zero, then the function is decreasing. Since we know these three features, it's possible to sketch the entire function using uh, the zeros of f prime of x and the nature of f of x about those critical points. Um, this method does not show other critical points such as intercepts or asymptotes and those must be found using other methods. This just does a very rough sketch of what the function would look like. So let's get over it. Let's sketch the following using a derivative table. So first, we're gonna need the first derivative of each of these. So let's differentiate these now. Bringing the power down, we get two x. And for this one, we just drop the coefficient and the constant goes away. So now we're gonna solve for the zeros of f prime of x. So we're gonna let this equal zero, which will give us uh, two x equals negative two, which gives us x equals negative one. Now using this as our critical point, we can use derivative tables, which I'm gonna show you now. So our x values and our f prime of x values. So the critical point that I'm going to be using is going to be negative one. And the points that we need are ones close to the critical points that we have. So by that we mean I'm going to use one above and one below. So we know that this here is a stationary point. And so the sketch of this, sorry, we should draw sketches of these. There we are. So the sketch of a stationary point, well, that's going to be flat. If we take f prime of zero, so let's quickly test that. So f prime of zero is equal to two times, taking it from here, zero plus two. Well, that is two. And we know that a positive f prime is a, an increasing function. So this is positive. So that means our tangent at that point looks, com looks like that, it's increasing. If we take f prime of negative two, so let's substitute negative two now. So let's get rid of these. And let's substitute in negative two. Well, this gives us negative four plus two. Negative four plus two is negative two. So this is a negative gradient, meaning it'll decrease like this. Well, we have a very rough sketch. Okay, so now we can draw what the function might look like. Here we are, here we are. So at x equals negative one, let's move this around. x equals negative one is around about, let's say here. And I know there's a turning point somewhere there Okay, so I know there's a turning point somewhere here. I don't know where it is, but I do know that it should be something like this. That is a very rough sketch. All right, and how I got that was at negative one, x equals negative one, we have a tangent that's stationary like this. But then at zero at x equals zero, we know that the gradient is positive. So at whatever 
um, tangent x equals 0 is, it'll be positive like this. And x equals negative 2, let's say negative 2 is here, we have a negative gradient, so that's how I drew my function. Let's get on to the next example. Here we go. So for this one first, whoops, I just accidentally got rid of this, g of x. So now let's find g prime of x. That's going to be 3x squared plus 12x. Now for this, we're going to let this equal 0 again. And now we're going to factorize for zeros of this. So I'm going to factor 3x out, giving me x plus 4 is equal to 0. And the zeros I can calculate are x equals 0 and x equals negative 4. And these are the critical points I'm going to be testing. x, f prime of x, and my drawing. Whoops. There we go. So here's going to be my negative 4. Here's going to be my 0 and my value above. And my drawings, my rough tangents, are going to be at the bottom. So at the points I'm going to be testing are negative 5, 1, and because we only need to test values in between here, I'm only going to test the value 1 right in the middle is negative 2. That's 1. Okay, so here we go. Let's test f prime. Oh, sorry, sorry, hang on. I know these are going to be 0 already. So these are going to be, let's draw a tangent in this color. That's going to be stationary points like so. Okay. So now um, we can find the values of this one here. So let's find the one in between. So let's take f prime. Oh, sorry, g prime of negative two. So g prime of negative two. We're substituting this for here. So let's let's do that. We get three times negative two negative 2 plus 4. This is going to be negative 6 times 2. So that's going to be negative 12, which is negative. So that's a negative. So that is a negative gradient, which means a negative gradient is decreasing. So it's doing this. Move right along. Let's test negative 5. Let's see what value comes out. So g prime of negative 5. That's going to be 3 times negative 5. Negative 5 plus 1. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Negative 5 plus 5 is negative 1. This will give me a positive gradient. So that's positive which means the graph is increasing at that point. And we have one last one. So let's get this ready. Let's do this one last time. Oops. So we're going to be testing g prime of 1. So substituting 1 into all x, this gives me 3 times 5 which is 15. That is a positive gradient. So the gradient, the tangent, sorry, at this point will be increasing. So using those uh, very quick sketches, we will be able to, to do a very quick sketch of what this will look like. So here we go. At 
zero, we have a turning point. And at negative four, we have a turning point. So negative four, zero. Now take a look. Oops, so it's in black. Take a look. It's going to increase stationary point and then decrease. So I know there's a stationary point. So let's go. Well, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's going to increase stationary points here. decrease between negative 4 and 0 so it's decreasing like this between the two points mm -hmm. so it's decreasing that's right just had to think for that a moment decreasing like this so it's a stationary point at 0 so it should be stationary like this and then increasing from that point on That is what a rough sketch of what this function may look like. Notice again that we do not have any values for the roots here or the y-intercept, wherever that, wherever that might be. So I hope that gave you an insight into sketching uh, functions using a derivative table and the properties of derivatives. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.